I'm gonna need this for this video. Hey folks, Chris once again, we'll go back to read this uh, request a sign from Betsy Buns Eat My Ass. I'm not joking, this is the person who already sent me this. God, name of this video is Top 10 Most Disgusting Things Found in Hoarding Buried Alive. Trash can, I need you again. I'll just chill the moment. Oh, right, right. Uh, Fruity Loose took it out. Yay. Top 10 most disgusting things found in hoarding buried alive. You think you're bad at tidying up your house? Think again. Welcome to Screen Jumbo. Today, we'll be looking at the top 10 most disgusting things oh my found God. in Hoarding Buried Alive. Before we get into the video, remember to hit that subscribe and like button. Remember to share the video too. Number 10. Mice Problem. The house landlord had a hoarder problem where she was getting complaints that downstairs was having terrible mice problems. I wonder why. The landlord had stacks of clothes and boxes all piled up in her rooms. The mice That's were even terrible. biting one of the daughters in the rented rooms. <laughs> they wake me up in the middle. Whenever kids involved, it's gonna be even fucking worse. Of the night. Okay. Yeah. They wake me up in the middle of the night. They wake her up, right, Leela? You you be scared sometimes? Yeah. What do they do to you? The mice scare you? And what else? They bite me. They bite you? Number nine. Vintage hoarder. This hoarder got They didn't really show anything though. I'm glad they did. There are many vintage items and clothes all around the house. The place was filthy everywhere. Nancy only let one of her friends inside for the first time in three years, leaving her with an awful shock of fear. She was very emotional when everyone started to try cleaning her house up. Never mind. Oh, Forget it. Uh, I'll take a break right now. People like that need to be locked up in fucking prison. Oh, because, uh, you know, certain things I gotta keep. It was like you couldn't breathe. That prison and mental asylum. You old people like that, they need to be locked up if they're that emotional towards junk. It was like, uh... Like a person restrained and not knowing how to get out of the restraints. But this is closed, you're, Nancy. You're I thought I could make a decision on something, okay? Wow, you're making it on everything that's no. important. Number eight, House of Tunnels. This house had nowhere to sit at all. Junk was placed everywhere, which created tunnels where the person had to climb up the various piles of objects just to get to the other room. All of the rooms were filled up to the brim. This house was just a messy storage hell for everyone who entered. This is enormous. The amount of items in here is absolutely enormous. Number seven, cat hoarder. The screaming of cats just shows how messy. I heard about this one. The one where she found is dead. When the one where she finds ripped apart cat corpses in her damn uh, freezer. I've seen it before. I've reacted to it. On my other fucking channel, it's fucking this gross house was. and disturbing. Many cats were caged up in the basement from them having nowhere to go due to how limited room there was. Piles and piles of mess can be seen everywhere. The many cats were not having a fun time in this house. On top of this, the husband and wife hoarders were having a baby in the next few months, and they were still living inside this filthy house. What you can hear, they're happy. <coughs> This is, this is my brand. What? Let's so continue the damn video. Give me my brand. Is she pretty? Give me my brand. Give me my brand. She's wild. Ah. Number six. Maze. This house is a virtual maze. Junk was placed all over the house, creating narrow pathways to get to the various small rooms that were just filled with items. It's a freaking war zone, said the son of the mother who owns the house. From how bad the house was, the son had to go to the hospital due to lung damage, due to the huge stack of objects falling on him when he was sleeping. I'll trip over things. I'll have cords wrap around my feet. I get beaten and tattered, and, you know, bruises and cuts and stuff like that. Oh, wow. It's a freaking war zone. 
Like, everything you want to do in that house, you have to fight to do it. Number five. Fire pass. These aren't that bad. They don't seem like they're that bad. They're not really showing anything. I guess I don't need a Sam trash can. In another house, a fire started from how messy the house was. The stove randomly turned on while there were a bunch of newspapers on top. This created an emergency where everyone had to put out the heat. This was yet again a house filled with trash on the floor and no space to breathe. The fire was put out by the end of the day, but the fire wouldn't have started at all if the house was clean. Sure. Number four. Rat infested house disgusts new owners. Many Spoke too soon. Spoke too fucking soon. Rats have infested this house. Garbage was piled up in the rooms and quarters, and this house smelled awful to be inside it. Mold and rat poop was all over the walls going deeper into the house. Hallways were hard to get through enough, and rats were scattering quickly from room to room. This house was revolting. Yeah, my God. Well, that freaked me out right there. Well, all of a sudden I saw a rat. I don't want to see right that. Across the kitchen, across all top of the garbage. Number three. This filthy house had insects everywhere in the rooms. Not the insects. No, 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 no. No, no fucking room. insects. There was no breathing room in this house at all. There were holes in the ground of the house, which got destroyed over time. This house was on its last legs from how much the hoarders have just simply put inside it. That, that, that problem, I'm sure, is not just contained to that area. Once the uh, biohazard team had fallen through the floor, Bell they peppers. called me in to uh, evaluate the, the structure and uh, the, uh, the, the danger uh, and, the, and the condition. That's really disgusting. Very, very real at that point. Number two, dead cat from how soaked this is the one I was talking about, not that one, not that one. You can tell how filthy this house was. The hoarders and helpers even found their dead cat, which apparently disappeared two years ago. Oh my god. With various objects being water damaged from the condition of that. Oh god. I feel nauseous, I really fucking do. Oh my fucking god. I don't feel was good, seriously. Hell to live in. And there is a chilling discovery behind a bureau in Doug and Darlene's living room. Okay. <gasps> okay, let me explain. I knew it happened. The cat was very sick and 19 years old. And we were trying to find her to take her to the vet, and she disappeared. And How there was, was no there? smell. How long has she been there? Two years. But that is Rat Cat. Number one. I don't feel <laughs> This is the ugliest house on hoarding buried alive ever. From delivery pizza left to mold to dog feces left to rot on the floor. This house is the definition of a hell house for hoarders. There was a ton of junk in each of the rooms, which built on how bad the house was already. Even the team refuses to finish cleaning this biohazard house, making this the most disgusting house and things to be found on this show. Two of the officers move upstairs to see what progress they can make there. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Remember? People who live like that, there's a special place in hell for people like you. Seriously. That cat one made me feel very sick. Seriously, I'm about to fucking puke right now. I don't feel good. What? People are just fucking gross, disgusting, nasty sluts. Seriously, I don't really- I don't feel good because of that. It was sort of dead, decaying cat, and... I don't feel good. I- I- I feel like puking. Seriously, I'm not joking about this. I- that Julie made me feel fucking sick. People who live like that, you need to go to fucking hell, or go to a fucking mental asylum, 
go to some kind of place where it's negative energy all around to teach you a fucking lesson. So like crap like that is why I don't watch is why I don't watch reality shows. I don't want to have fucking nightmares. That image of that dead cat is gonna haunt me forever. Haunt my fucking nightmares. Haunt my daymares. Haunt. It's gonna. I'm gonna see that shit every time I go to sleep. I'm not gonna cuss out the person who requested the video. Thank you so much. It's just, it's just something I don't want to see on my damn screen. But yeah. And my stepdad's being annoying again, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.